Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Joy. Shepard. Yeah. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. What's up? An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Uh, I've seen an invitation to join his uh, his little group, so yeah, I'll go and handle it and see what's going on there. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. Oh. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. Mm. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. <laughs> Father Kyle. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, I'll see if I can reason with him and just handle it. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Oh, man, am I so glad to get out of the... Uh the ship right now. I actually never thought I'd say that. I love the Normandy. I honestly do. I think it's a beautiful ship. Probably my favorite one I've served on yet. But, ooh, after some of the um, interesting conversations I've had recently on that ship, am I ever glad that we get to do something kind of normal? And it's really weird that saying, talking to somebody that's the leader of what is turning out to be a biotic compound cult group, calling himself Father Kyle is normal, but I mean... Stranger things have happened, right? Yeah, pretty much. And I'm sure even more strange things are going to happen as time goes on. But first, let's go find this little group of biotics. Say hi, introduce ourselves. Rex, maybe we could sign up and join them. You never know. We'll have to uh, see what's in store for us. I think I found their front door after much searching. They definitely did a good job of hiding their uh, compound from everyone. I assume this is the front door. Do we knock? Do we just go in? How do we do this? This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I understand, but I was on a planet called Pharos, and I found an invitation to join your group, and I too am a fellow biotic, and I would love to speak to, uh, to Major Kyle. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I know. I understand that. And honestly, I'm just here to help and to see what you have to offer. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. And he needs my help. Trust me, I can help Father Kyle. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Thank you. Oh, helpful console talking person. All right. Let's go uh, head over. I assume it's this. Yeah, it seems like the only other way we can get in. All right, let's go meet Father it's Kyle. All right. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? Should I say hi to people as we walk in or is that weird? Is this not one of those like we're going to talk to people? Compounds or is this one of those like, you know, antisocial biotic crazy groups? If they're antisocial, though, honestly, that's points for joining. I mean, I wouldn't mind the whole, you know, you're just a biotic. Hanging out with other biotics without hanging out with other biotics. You're just kind of by yourself. I, f I fully support that. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? Honestly, originally I was coming just to see what you all were all about. Because I got an invitation when I was on uh, Pharos. I don't know if you sent it out just in mass to anybody that could be a biotic or what but it was a very lovely invitation and we honestly uh especially my my good krogan friend next to me we really wanted to learn more about you but where are the investigators that came from the alliance 
What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. Okay, your children, but they're not safe now. Because of what you did, Father Kyle, your children are in danger. And now we need to find a way to help them. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. I know. I understand that, but you can't help them now, can you? We definitely need to work together on this. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. I know. I know that this isn't easy. So we're going to do this as, as cleanly and nicely for everyone as possible to make this as, well, easy as possible. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. All right. No, I mean, I trust you. Kind of. I mean, not really, but listen. On the bright side, if you don't do... Well, I shouldn't say bright side. It really wouldn't be a bright side. But on the other side of it all, if you don't actually, you know, come out peacefully and turn yourself over to the authorities in an hour, like you said you would, they'll just storm the compound and kill everybody. So I would definitely take it under some heavy advisement to keep to your word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. And I, I do mean suffer. I will betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. You're welcome. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. I do, Garrus. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. All right. I'm not going to lie. I am a little sad that we came all this way. He knows that at least Rex and I are biotics, and we didn't even get an invite to join them. What a bad cult. Seriously, we were definitely here to hear them out, and they didn't even want to talk. I'm kind of disappointed. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thanks, Joker. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. Perfect. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, there are Thorian Creepers at this Exogeny facility in this planet that's in the middle of nowhere. Really? Really? Well, let's just hope it's just the Creepers and it's not another Thorian that they moved. For all we know, there could have been an extra Thorian on Pharos. Maybe multiple Thorians, for all we know. And they, uh, you know, brought one of them here. Let's hope not. Let's really hope not. What is that? That looks like the thing that that Asari was in on Pharos, remember? Oh, this is sure to be disgusting. All I can think of now is this is going to be utterly gross. Weapons ready, just in case. Oh, good. I was right. Thorian creepers. Careful. These things sting if they touch you. Uh, oh, Fire hey. I think I still got those specialty grenades up. Nice. Look at that. Good job, me. Kind of thought ahead for once. 
I mean, I didn't actually technically think ahead, but I mean, we're gonna go with that I did. Oh. So were these... Were these creepers the, old, the people that worked here or what? Oh, okay, they Think make... Good, Commander. Thanks, Tally. They make disgusting sounds, huh? I just want to know who they were or what they were. Did they grow these Thorian creepers themselves or were they actually people? They were actually people is more than likely what the case is going to be. And that's just disgusting. And creepy. Ugh. Kind of like those husks we found on Eden Prime, huh? It is interesting how both are very similar. Okay, what do we got here? Just a bunch of bodies. Looks like where they were doing some of the experiments, huh? Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, chief exogeny researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Uh-huh. And what exactly happened here? I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? How do I know about the Thorian? I was the one that killed it back on Pharos. I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. Yep. No point in my lying. Nope. You already know the worst. I do. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. A couple days ago, you said? That would be around the time I handled the Thorian. Or when the Geth arrived. Interesting. So even though you used a sample from the Thorian, it was planets away. It was still sending out that it could still control them or at least connect to them that far away. Wow, what awful, awful things could happen if that had gotten out that information too. Listen, you said specimens. You said you got samples from specimens from Pharos. Are you talking like you got samples from colonists and the Thorian? Or are you saying that you got samples from multiple Thorians? Because I only saw one Thorian on Pharos. I'd love some, you know, more information on that. But tell me more about the berserker creepers. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. That's what I'm thinking. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. What about the other survivors? Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. And what about the generic distress signal? Didn't you think to send out a signal, I don't know, that would be a little bit more urgent? Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Oh, they had a lot of problems. You can't even begin to understand how many problems they had. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? People lost their lives. You are doing unethical experiments, not to mention how dangerous the Thorian is to begin with, and you just kept going. You really think that I'm just going to let this go? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I am. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but... It sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. 
Really? You're trying to bribe me? Really? Come on. You can't. First of all, that's so expected and boring. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's just that's awful. Like just bribing somebody like that without even knowing them or if they're going to squeal on you even further. But listen, I'm the sort that's going to squeal on you even further. Trust me. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open really? Open fire. Really? You think that that's a better idea? Like, you, you honestly think that this is your best bet? Oh, you guys are delusional, huh? You, ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to just come back here. Exo Jenny's second rate mercs proved no match for a trained Alliance Marine. With the last of the science crew dead, there's no reason to linger here. What a piece of work she was, huh? Trying to bribe us like that. That's the last of them. Thanks, Tally. All right, well, let's get out of here. All right, so while we're here, the goal is to find the samples. I don't know if you guys remember on Pharaohs. We found those that note from a doctor. You imagine that Cerberus, of all people, remember them? Our good friends at Cerberus? <sighs> I really hate those guys. Anyways, they apparently have samples, and the scientist was concerned about it. I don't know if the scientist made it. I don't know anything about this scientist. I don't know if he has the power to handle this later, but I have the power to handle it now. So let's handle it. So it looks like we have three different facilities that we should visit because those definitely don't look native to the planet. This planet is awful to traverse. I'm not even going to lie. I dislike this place. And if I was looking to hide shady top secret shit, this would be the place I'd do it. Because who's going to really want a chance to trip here? Nobody. Nobody in their right mind would come here as a vacation. Unless, of course, they got flown into their exact location and didn't have to drive. Looks I mean, that's deserved. one thing. Yeah. I've got a bad feeling about this. Same. Hey, guys. Are those... Hawks? The entire colony must have been transformed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding. All right. Look at... There they are. The things that they use. All right. Securing point. Let's see what kind of freak show we'll find inside, huh? I have a bad feeling. So, get ready. Finally, some action. I don't think this constitutes as action, Rex. More like a small mercy. Really, really, really dislike Cerberus. So what are they out Shields here down. making husks? Come on. This doesn't even... Mm -mm. That noise is awful. So, did they turn the colony into husks? Or was that just an accident? Let's go upstairs, see if we can get the last few. I don't know how many of them are on the balcony. I just wish we had better information. Uh, maybe one of the other facilities will have it. This can't be all of them. <sighs> this is what happens when you play with Cerberus, though. Down. Thanks, Rex. So what do we think? We're just going to find more of the same when we hit the other two places? Probably. I wonder if anybody hasn't been turned into a husk yet. How long does it take? I wonder. I mean, if Eden Prime's anything to go off of, not long. So this had to have been fairly recent, possibly, huh? Or the other thing is this could have been done a really long time ago. And they've just had husks roaming around. The one thing that we don't know about husks is how long can they survive? Like, they're not human anymore, I assume, so they probably don't need food and water. But is there just a length of time that they last before they deactivate? More of the husk things on the outside. So we can only assume this place, too, is overrun. Inside, outside. Looks like there's nothing outside. Looks like they've got a few bodies. Maybe they tried and it failed. Is it worth going in? Probably. If there are any husks, we probably should just put them down. And uh, nobody should have to live like that. We'll get them back. 
You don't just lose shields, Rex. You lose shields and then you're like, but I'm going to get them back. Don't worry. Care careful. It's the two of you against one tiny hot. I saved you. Y'all are welcome. Is there one left down here? Upstairs? What is... You see the sh... That must... You can see a shadow. Wouldn't that... Maybe he's upstairs doing this dance up there and I can just... I don't... You gotta be upstairs. That is quite literally the only thing that makes sense. Oh my gosh, it was like he was dancing. Oh, you gotta laugh, right? Because if not, you'll go crazy. There you are, you dancing fool. All right. I think that that's all of them neutralized. Negative contacts, Commander. Thanks, Rex. Let's uh, do what we can to make sure that there's no useful information and then head to the last facility. Look at how many of those they have here. Just a few, huh? No wonder why the whole colony has gone. All right. Let's handle these guys. And then we'll go inside and see if they're the test samples. Maybe they were all used. Got it. I am eternally grateful, though, that we found the, um, the note from that doctor with the concern. Because can you imagine if we didn't come here and see all this and handle it? Ooh, how much trouble would everybody have been in? And I'm not talking about Cerberus being in trouble because I don't care about that. I'm talking about some innocent person eventually coming here and looking around and then getting attacked by all this. All of this. And nobody should have to either live through that or just walk in on it and not knowing what it is. Finally, Surprise! What do you mean by finally? It's been action this whole time. Here, I got a friend. He's trying to murder me. Okay, I'm going to go this way. I need shields. There we go. I got him back. I'm going this way because, hi, I knew it. Well, you know what to do. Get him back. It's very simple. Okay, he's dead. He's almost. Oh, gosh. Why? Why? Okay. Is that it? Please tell me that was Area it. Secured. Thank you. All right. Doesn't seem like there's anything useful around here. Anything over here? No. Huh. Guess we'll see what's back here. Oh, look, they had plants. It's almost normal. It is the weird part, though. You find When you find, like, normal stuff like that in places like this... They had plants. They had just nice little decorations chilling, you know? Uh, it's empty. Weird. We had plants out there, but this room was completely empty. Huh. Like they didn't even finish moving in. All right. Well, let's see what this terminal has for us. A colonial pioneer team rarely consists of more than a few dozen specialists. It's clear that none of them have survived. The Cerberus group has a lot to answer for here. I hate Cerberus. Words right now. Cannot describe how much I dislike them. Let's do a quick sweep and make sure there's no other information here that should possibly be destroyed or passed on to the Alliance. And then let's get back on the ship. I was kind of hoping I'd almost find proof of an embedded Cerberus scientist, you know? Which possibly is what it was. But what, did Cerberus just find a colony? Like a startup colony? And they were like, all right, this is the best people to, to test on. Let's test out how to make husks on them. And then boom, we had husks? Come on, there has to have been more. Nobody would have just volunteered for that. It had to have been, what... I, don't, I mean, you don't necessarily have, like, they were volunteered kind of thing, but still, it was the one that put them on the spikes. Like a Cerberus Black Ops team came in, put them on spikes, and was like, here, here's some husks. Was scientists watching from a safe distance as it all happened? Possibly. Maybe they were just Cerberus scientists embedded here. I don't know. I hate the not knowing, though. I'm not going to lie. I think the not knowing makes me crankier than knowing. You just can't sleep this one away or forget this one away. Guess at some point we'll have to make sure Cerberus answers for all this, huh? 